Hi, my name is Terry Gonzalez. I'm a nutritionist with a special interest in using metabolic therapies to manage tumors, cancer. Today we're going to be taking a rat's blood sugar levels. We'll also be weighing this rat. Do not expect him to be cooperative. I guess that's the whole point, how to take a rat's blood sugar levels and how to weigh him. Today, in front of me, I have all the supplies you're going to need for this process. You need to have a paper and pencil, a pad, to write down the numbers because there's no way you're going to remember everything in your head. This right here is called the Precision Extra. It tests ketone levels. We're not going to be testing ketone levels. It's just like testing blood sugar levels, but it, it tests ketones, which are a byproduct of fat metabolism. This particular meter requires different test strips than other blood glucose meters. These right here are the test strips for the Precision Extra. This right here is the blood glucose meter I will be using. It is called a rely on. It's the reason I selected this blood glucose meter is because the cost of test strips are cheap. This is for a human being. It happens to also work quite well on a pet rat. This right here is called a lancing device. I have it set to go as deep as this lancing device is able to go. You they all work slightly differently, but the idea is that you cock the lancing device, you pull it back, I hear it click, I have it set to the highest, deepest setting, and all I'm going to have to do is push this button once I have it pressed against the very tip of his tail. The needle comes out the end. You can't see it but the hole is where the needle comes out. I also have a measuring cup of hot water and a warm washcloth in the water. I'm going to wrap the warm washcloth around his tail. This brings the blood vessels to the surface and after we prick the tip of his tail, blood comes more easily. So. I'm going to set this aside. We're going to grab our rat, our rat, our model for today. We have right here our model, our little guy that's going to help us demonstrate how to test blood sugar. His name is Willie, and he is uh, not going to be terribly cooperative. You'll notice that in my lap I have a Oh, wash, not a washcloth, a tablecloth. So, the first thing we have to do is restrain him so that we can test his blood sugar. So, I'm going to put him to the end. I'm going to grab the wa uh, table, the, uh, the cloth and wrap him very tightly so that he cannot get out. Now, I want to work with his tail. You'll notice that his tail is hanging out. I'm going to grab the... So he is wrapped tightly, he can't move, and I'm going to put my hand right on top of him. I'm grabbing the warm, wet washcloth, and I'm going to wrap this around his tail to kind of warm up the tail. You don't have to apply any pressure. You hold this for about 30 seconds and we should be ready to go. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. The first thing I need to do is grab my lancing device. Here's the hole where it's going to come out. I've already cocked it back. It's ready to go. It's on the deepest setting, and I'm going to place just the tip of his tail against my pointer finger. 
This right here is the button that I'm going to be pushing when I'm ready. Here's the hole that the needle comes out of. His tail is on top of my fingertip. I look at the hole and line it up and I press it firmly. His tail is like the sandwich meat inside of a sandwich. I have my finger on one side, his tail, and then the lancing device. Then I push the button and I start milking the tail. As you can see, I have two drops of blood. I'm going to let the lancing device just drop because I don't need it anymore. I am going to grab the test strip out of the container. I'm going to put the test strip inside of the blood glucose meter. That's the top side, that's the bottom side. This is worth practicing on your own. When I put the test strip in, it turns on. It takes a few minutes to calibrate, but it will beep when it's ready. All right, I take the very end of the test strip. I hear a beep. And the number is reported as 62 milligrams per deciliter. In other countries, like South Africa, you are going to find that the numbers are reported in a different unit of measure, millimoles per liter. Now, what I'm going to do is wipe off just the very tip of his tail. I got plenty of blood for doing this, everything I needed to get the job done. If I were taking ketone levels, I would probably do that first, but as you can see, I've got more blood. If ever you have to test ketone levels, it requires a little bit more blood than a blood glucose meter. He did not squeak or complain or fight or struggle as we tested his blood sugar levels. It's a lot harder on the person who's trying to do this for the first time than it is for the rat. We are all done with taking his blood sugar levels other than the fact that I have to write this number down on a piece of paper instead of trying to remember it in my head. So I'm writing down the number. If I were testing ketone levels in addition, I would pull out the other meter, put the test strip in, touch the drop of blood, wait till the number was reported, and I would write that number down also. This ends the portion of the videotape where we are testing his blood sugar. Willie is still wrapped up in the uh, dishcloth and hasn't been struggling as we set up the next scene to shoot. We're going to be putting him inside of the container, but before we put him inside of the container, what we're going to do is turn the scale on. Every scale is different, but you'll notice that the container I'm about to put him into is sitting on the scale and it says zero. So now when I put him inside of this container, the number that shows up on the display is going to be his actual weight. If I had turned on the scale, let's shut it off. All right, let's say I turn the scale on and it reads zero. Now I put the container on the scale and it shows me the weight of the container and I hit tear, T-A-R-E, it zeroes out the display, there's the container that I'm about to put him into, that container, the scale, is ready to go. I'm going to move this slightly out of the way. And get ready to put him in the container.
again, don't really expect him to cooperate. This is not something he wants to be doing. So, I put him in, nose first, and I don't put the... Okay, here we go. Now that I know his tail won't get caught, I'm locking down the top, and I'm putting him on top of the scale. And it's as he goes round and round and round, let's see, it says 593.0, and he's sitting relatively still. So I touch it, and it still says 593.0. We are good to go. That's it. 